my recording? There we go. Hi there, YouTube. It's Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet. I just want to say thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Hit that little red button and subscribe if you have not already done so. I appreciate it greatly. Make some comments. Uh, I do read them. I heart them. I answer. Um, I take them seriously. Uh, and look, look today, no glasses. Oh, where are they? I don't know. Never wear them when I'm in the house, so now I've lost them. Uh-oh. That's okay. I think I can still read. Um, so today's video, I know this looks like I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday, but actually I'm recording the video yesterday, and I'm recording, and I'm uploading it, uploading it today. Do you know what I mean? I'm tricking you. I just didn't want to do two videos in one day. So, I'm actually doing the two videos in one day, but I'm uploading them two separate days. So there will be crinkling in this because I went yarn shopping. I had to order a gift, and so I did it from Amazon, and the yarn popped up. And I have opening right here. It just came right now. And we're going to open it. I'm expecting two balls of yarn. And let me tell you, I paid $10 for these two balls of yarn. And they're looking pretty tiny. Or else it's one ball and then I'm really mad. Well, let's see. I enjoy this gift. I'm not seeing a gift. Two skeins of rainbow soft. Yarn, 100% acrylic, acrylic gradient. Um, well, let's see. It says that there's 196 yards times two. Colors are pretty. Let's see what we get. I don't think I've ever had 100% wool. So, I did expect it to be a little bit thicker and I did not expect it to be written in Asian so I cannot read it oh maybe I can read some of it let's see what we get here as Krista from the secret yarnery says one for me one for you these colors ladies and gentlemen are so pretty Oh, look at those vibrant oranges and everything. It's very squishable. Hmm. I'll tell you, I didn't buy Scarfy at the store the other day because it seemed scratchy. And I assumed it was the wool, but this is supposed to be 100% wool. Um... It says, uh, I don't know, hand, can you, can that, does that, is that focused? Not so good, huh? Um, it says, hand a bar, hand, hand our belt, hand our beat. Um, I don't know, it's, I don't know why it's not focused there. Let me try this one. It's not on as bad of a curve. I don't know if you can read that, but it's H-A-N-D-A-R-B-E-I-T. Um, and then here's these little instructions. I think you can wash it. I don't know what the P means. It says uh, 2.35 to 3.5 hook. Do not iron. Um... And then there's a t-shirt, so I don't know what that means. And there's a triangle with an X on it. I don't know. Don't do it. Whatever that X means. Um, and then there's, let's see. China Alliance of Health Source is written on there in English. And everything else is 100% Asian. Chinese, Mandarin. Vietnamese, I don't know. But look at the colors. I totally love the colors. 
So I think it's supposed to be 400 yards of very thin but pretty. Ooh, so pretty. Don't know that that was exactly what I expected of it. Um, I did pay $10. The shipping was free. And then there's this little note in here that says uh, two skeins of Rainbow Soft 100% wool gradient multicolor uh, for crocheting and knitting length uh, 196 times 2. And then it says a gift for you. Enjoy a gift from me. Gift for you. Oh, that's because the other thing I purchased was a gift. So they're sending me a gift receipt for both. Okay, so that's the pretty wool yarn. I don't know what I could make out of that. Anything so pretty. But two weight. I've never worked with a two weight. I don't like working with a three weight because it takes forever. But if we do a really lacy kind of thing, or some just little cowls that then won't take too long. Um, so that'll be that. Now I did go to my discount store with the cool yarns, and guess what? We found some Dreamweaver. Um, I bought this is the same yarn like I made the reader out of that, but it's black, and I didn't have any of it in black. Um, and so it's like a five bulky weight, and. I bought it in black because it's a very soft and shiny yarn and I really liked working with it. So I bought that and I, oh this next yarn you guys. So you yeah, remember my pretty purple up here that where'd it go? Right here. Pretty purple with the sparkles. They had it in navy-ish royal whatever blue. Look at how gorgeous that is. I've never seen it. The purple, I saw the one time, and now this blue. And I did get, I thought I bought five, but I was wrong and got four. Um, it does say that they are three and a half ounces each skein. I'm going to say it's probably, I don't know, a three or four weight yarn. Um, let me see if I can't get it a little closer. I couldn't figure out anything that the purple was worthy of, and now I have blue. Well, purple is my favorite color. Um, Rose isn't the only one that gets purple as their favorite color. So you can see it's, I want to say it's maybe a three. Um, and then it's got these little, like, sequinsy things on it. So is that not so awesome? So I've got to make room. I don't know where. I don't know where this is going to go to be by the purple. Maybe I should just make something out of it. This could be the wedding shawl. That would be good for a wedding shawl. Then what do you think? I'm going to a wedding in September. My nephew's getting married. And I have, so we'll talk about that for just a second. I, I thought maybe the purple yarn um, to make something for the wedding, but I don't have the dress yet. But the blue would be good too. So this could give me a direction for looking for a dress. And where is this? So look at this. Now I've never opened it. And it is a Millens from Stitch Studio. But it is a silver and it's very sparkly. I have a pair of scissors right here. I thought it was so pretty and I thought when I bought this I thought this could go to a wedding one day people do get married I do get invited once in a while to a wedding it's also a very shiny very not too thick kind of a maybe a three weight two or three weight and it's got all these little tiny sparkles and it's shiny and sparkly itself great wedding shop the wedding is burgundy and gray so I don't know if I could go gray um, the mother of the bride wanted to wear gray and the bride freaked out so if the aunt of the groom is wearing gray I don't know how that would go over so 
I don't know. What do you think? I think if I wear the gray, I'm in trouble. Oh goodness, where did I get this from? Oh, right down here. Okay, good. It fits right there perfectly. The other thing I thought was, oh no, I want sparkle. I have like bon a shawl or something. I, I'm playing um, Mama, Grandma, Granny D here. I'm going off on a tangent. I got a squirrel going on. Um, but I have these pretty, I, I definitely want sparkles. So I have like these pretty sparkles. Again, we're silver. This one's all kinds of colors. So, I don't know. I have the brown. I have the purple. Can you guys see those down here? Um, so, I don't know. I was thinking lacy. Uh, but then that blue, I could wear blue to the wedding and be safe. I could wear purple to the wedding and be really safe, too. Okay, we got to think about that. Idea suggestions would be great. Or straw suggestions also. I have to be on a YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorial, though, because I still don't know how to read a pattern, and I don't want to learn on something that I'm going to wear to a wedding. I have that, that would not be a good thing. Okay, so now, I also went yesterday to um, oh, that stupid store, Dollar Tree. My stuff came in from Dollar Tree. Very happy about that. I got there. It was a little bit of a hassle, but they had a box of yarn for me. And included in the box of yarn was the riverbank. I do believe I ordered this and was supposed to be getting this in. And I'm going to, again, we're going to crinkle for a minute because I'm going to open this because I have to show you. There we go. Now this is Riverbank. And it is, uh, you know, Unforgettable Waves, Riverbank. Uh, may as well give you all this stuff. It's a number four, five and a half millimeter hook. 100% um, acrylic. I'm trying to find the yardage. Three and a half ounces, 100 grams, four balls to make the shawl on the picture. I think that's it down for you. There you go. Um, I'm not seeing the yardage. <laughs> it's got to say it's someplace, right? Oh, 100 and. Oh, right here in the front. 119 yards. Okay. So just remember this little piece of beauty right there. So I got the riverbank. I ordered the riverbank. Then I got Lake House. I do. I'll open it for you too so you can see the color in case you have not ever seen it. And I don't think you get a good color in the, you know, when you're looking through the plastic wrap. So I got six skeins of each in the, what did I say this one was called? Lake House? Lake House is really pretty. It's got all those really pretty blues and like some green in there. I totally love it. And one of these could be a really pretty shawl for the wedding too. Um, shawl or wrap. I'm, I'm open to either. Uh, I don't really know what's supposed to be much of the difference. I, I think one is supposed to be uh, square and one is supposed to be triangular, but I could be totally wrong on that. So, anyway, I did not order the lake house. I ordered spices. I ordered brown. I have not called them. I think I'm just glad I didn't get sand toys and be done with it. Um, I might try to order the brown again. It's very frustrating. I really do want this one called Spices that has brown in it. I'm ecstatic that I did not get... Oh, there's my... My alarm system tells me when people are coming in. I'm really ecstatic that I did not get um, toys or organizers or things that I did not order other than just the wrong color yarn. So, I have one more thing to show you. This is the Unforgettable that I got from Dollar Tree. This is yarn I got at Mark's yesterday. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this Dreamweaver yarn right here is 100% the same yarn. 
I bought this stream weaver in this over the last year. I bought this at Mark's. I bought this this particular one yesterday. I went to Dollar Tree, picked up my order, I went to Mark's, and I'm like, oh, look, they have the same yarn. And I had looked in the box, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's the same yarn, same color. that I And I had already put this in the car. But I bought it because, hey, I love the color. I made something out of it. I have it right here. This is the same color. Same yarn. Now I have a ton of this. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. I made a blouse out of this and gave it to my cousin. Um, and I think I have pictures of her on my Charmed Grammy Crochet group. And it is Charmed Grammy Crochet. Charmed with the E. Unlike my email address, I don't think it has the E. Um, and my Instagram doesn't have the E. But the Facebook page, Charmed Grammy Crochet group. Um, that's where I post pictures. The other one, I thought I had a make that in order to get the group page. I don't know how the group page came about. My grandkids did that for me because I couldn't figure it out. So anyway, that's a whole nother, whole nother squirrel going on there. I'm taking after Granny D really bad today. So anyway, there are pictures on Facebook of the um, like summer real open like a um, uh, uh, anyway, it's a top that I made. Um, I made it for myself, but I, it was the first time I ever made a top. And I made it too big. Uh, and my my cousin is a little bit larger than I am, and it fit her really, really nice. So she loves it. She's enjoying it. And I said, I'm going to make myself another one one day. It's on the one-day list. <laughs> one day I will use up most of this yarn if I ever stop buying more. Um, so that's that. That's all I can tell you about that. I cannot, I've always really thought that that marks that the Dreamweaver is, um, like Millen's or whatever from Red Heart. Proof. Right there. That is all I have for you today, my friends. Thank you again so much for subscribing and watching and being a part of my yarny life. Um... I don't have any whips to show you right now because I am ripping apart the the one blanket and I've had company most of the day and we had some housework to do and so I really I have not crocheted much I ripped I did frog I hate frogging but I did frog um, it's gonna say that but that's all we got Maybe I'll make another video tomorrow to post on Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you tomorrow or the next day or soon anyway. Have a happy crochet day.